Man, the chat's just taking this bitch thing and running with it. <laughs> I think the game's doing that already. Uh, jumping section. Let's see if I can not fail this. Wait, all the pirates have to do this? Seems like this would be actually pretty easy for some of the bigger pirates. They could just, like, lean over and get to the platforms. Yeah. Apparently, pressing the switch is the easy part. Thank you, Nika. We have a donation for $35 from John at Dawn, and he says, That bitch. Thank you, John. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and uh, add this to the overall total. We're now at $75.71. For today. Yes, for today. For Wind Waker. And that means we're only 125 or so away from uh, 4,000. Yes, sir. See, I can do maths. Who said I couldn't? <laughs> I think it's actually kind of apt I'm on for Wind Waker now, because I'll be playing the Wind Waker sequels near the end of the marathon. Yeah, that's a good point. I've actually never seen basically anything of those games. Make sure you stop on by for those, then. It's too bad I'll be in school! <laughs> well, that didn't work out so well. Yeah, you were too close to the edge of the platform. First try! Nice. Can we get any donations for the first time? Let's go, people. <laughs> There's your incentive. Spa, don't fuck up. <laughs> we're, we're paying you to not fuck up. Dude, if I could get paid for that, I'd never make any money. Yeah. Why, you, you made a bowl of cereal without spilling it all down yourself? Here, have five dollars. <laughs> That'd be great. I'd get five dollars a day. That's fine, Taki. You have uh, done more than enough for the time being. Thank you. Now, the second run of these jumping platforms, I might have to retry a bit, because that one's a bit more difficult. A little bit, yeah. Bye. Trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> wow, we have a $100 donation from Matthew. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you so much. We now stand at $175.71. It's very useful because all I have to do is enter one onto the uh, notepad. <laughs> <laughs> We're now twenty-four dollars away from four thousand overall, and at fifty-six percent overall of our grand total of seven thousand. Thanks to everyone who's donated. We appreciate every one of you, mm -hmm. and the people who are watching that can't donate as well. We appreciate you being here and sharing the stream on uh, Twitter, Facebook and so on. Ah, someone uh, said they can't donate, but here's a Medal of Honor Steam Key. Okay. Works for me. I'm not going to read it out, because by the time this is on YouTube, it will have already been claimed, so... Mm -hmm. So 
What do you think of the uh, Forsaken Fortress? Uh, it's a tad foreboding, and uh, the, the stealth um, sends shivers down my spine because I'm terrible at stealth, but besides that, it's pretty cool. It's got a nice design. It really does have a nice design, and I'm also not real great with stealth, but uh, it's not so bad in this game. It's better here than it is in Skyward Sword, anyway. Yep. I guess this stealth section is going to be a bitch. I want to hurt myself now. There was a bit of stealth in Skyward Sword. Besides the uh, Silent Realms, you had one section where your weapons were taken that you had to sneak around. Mm -hmm. We just shot a young boy out of a cannon. Let's wave merrily at him as he flies. Looks like bitch is blasting off again, ding. <laughs> so what actually happens if you get uh, caught by the spotlight? Um, by the spotlight? I'm not particularly sure, to be honest. I think they just fire cannonballs at you. Hmm. Oh, you go straight to jail? Do not pass go, do not pass 200, <laughs> do not collect $200. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> so why can't we be like Sora and use a shield as a weapon? When did Sora ever use a shield as a weapon? In Kingdom Hearts 1, if you pick the shield at the very beginning, he uses the uh, shield as a weapon. Implying I ever picked the shield. Yeah, that's rad. You just got told. <laughs> Glitchy lighting effects. Okay, bitch. Exactly, you always go with a sword. If you pick the shield, you get a uh, second chance at once more earlier in the game. No. No, pick up the weapon, thank you. I've never had this much trouble! <laughs> oh, we got our first joy pendant. It's actually really early in the game to get these. Now you actually need those, right? Yes, we need 21 of them in total.
Ah, uh, yeah, she could have used the spin attack to kill him. Can you spin attack with the uh, sticks or whatever? With every uh, weapon you can pick up, I believe. Oh, okay. I'm surprised that's a mechanic that they didn't bring back. Like using uh, enemies' weapons and whatnot. Yeah. I guess it's just because you never lose the weapon aside from that one point in Skyward Sword. True, true. Oh, they did. Where was that? Was it in Skyward Sword? They had Kalakdos, but that was it. Yeah, that's a boss fight. I'm talking about a proper mechanic that's, you know, used throughout the game. Yeah. He saw me. He saw me. <laughs> and now he just kind of forgot about my existence. Cool. How it works, mate. Oh, cool. You can spin attack. How about that? Learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. Enemies get some random invincibility frames in this game. I assume you know which uh, search lights to take, are you? I've taken the two that I need. Excellent. Because the third one doesn't really uh, come into play. That's fine, Jesse. As long as you're having fun here, that's the main thing. Yeah, just a little camera movement there to show the building that we're going to. And now we get to actual stealth. Goody. Let's hope the game doesn't glitch on me this time. What happened last time? Uh, it wasn't in this room, but in one of the rooms where you have to evade the moblins, um, I got stuck where one of them was walking like five feet away and then turned back, walked to where I was at, clipped through the barrel that I was in, and then walk five feet away, come back, clip through the barrel that I was in, walk back five feet away, and just kept doing that, and then I couldn't move. Right. Because I was basically blocking his walking path, so he couldn't, like, go past me to the other side of the room, and I had to get caught. Got you, got you. This guy to walk by. I think when I usually do this, I come in from the other side, then you only have to deal with one of them. Yeah, but it's also a longer way around. So it's just trading stealth for puzzles, I guess. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is a new game plus file. Oh, I hope I didn't just walk into his uh, patrol path.
Y you'd think they'd notice this barrel shifting positions. Yeah, well. <laughs> Not the smartest knives in the crayon box. That metaphor kind of got away from you, didn't it? No, I did that on purpose. Okay. It's funny to say it that way. Yep. <laughs> I had one where I got stuck. Someone saying they should like push me to the side, but that didn't happen. Okay, there's one more mob one that I've got to sneak around, and I think I'm done. Yep, you are. I would recommend staying to the side of the fortress, like hogging the wall. Yeah, well, he's walking towards me, so there's nothing I can do at the moment anyway. Okay. I've got to wait till he turns uh, back around. Apparently, you can pass this moblin without a barrel if you're fast enough. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> and I think we're good. Excellent. Last job, Spo. I don't need the barrel anymore, so let's go. The searchlight that would be right here is the only one you have to take out, I think. Makes sense. Or it might be here. It's just the two parts where you've got to walk along this ledge. And yay, we get the sword back! Nice. And also we get to hear the uh, mini-boss theme for the first time. Interrupted by the You Got an Item jingle. <laughs> Alrighty. Nicely done. I know, right, y'all. Mini boss. Well, to be fair, he's got a sword and the shield, and he's uh, more challenging than the first mob in G4. Yeah, he's a. Uh there's two kind of the Bakoblins, the ones that have the sticks and then that kind that has the sword and shield and they take a few more hits to take down. Thank you for naming them correctly, I was just about to correct myself, <laughs> but you got there first. Looks like we're going to go see the master of the fortress here. Oh, so the bird just tosses us away, alright. <laughs> We were apparently unimportant. Ganon could have solved all his problems if he had just killed us then. Yep.
Yes, we are seriously named Link Bitch because uh, Taki won out the donation war with a donation of $20.69. And here you go. Totally <laughs> 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 worth it. Yes, for the children. <laughs> we named Link Bitch. For the children. <sighs> so here we meet the King of Red Lions. Uh, recurring characters throughout this game. We'll be seeing him a lot. Well, you'll be seeing him most of the time, Spar. <laughs> He's your vehicle, you big silly. Our vehicle? <laughs> that you fucking dirt. <laughs> Just cruising on the ocean, and suddenly you hear, STOP THE VEHICLE! <laughs> what are you even doing here? Get back on the PS2. <laughs> well, technically his name is Ganondorf. Ganon... Ganondorf. I never saw the difference. So, which of the three bullshit timelines does this take place in? This takes place in... the timeline where Link leaves Hyrule, or at least doesn't come back, and the goddesses have to flood the land. Okay. Is that the same timeline as Majora's Mask or not? No, that's the middle one. The adult Ocarina of Time Link. Alright. When he gets sent back in time, obviously there's no Link there. We can't quite go out to sea yet. Mm-hmm. Boat's not much use without a sail in this case. Thankfully, they licked that problem by the next game. Well, Tom, we could have had Wii Sports rowing mechanics. Are you looking for a slap, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, besides getting the sail, I'm going to take care of a couple things here on Windfall. Mm -hmm. The, uh... Old man walking around that tree is one of the guys I think that wants to see a photo. Mm -hmm. And the little sad kid uh, here on the stairs as well. Yeah, the kid wants a picture of the moon, I can tell you that. No. The full moon. I think they want color ones, which you have to get the uh, deluxe camera for, which requires a mini quest and stuff, so I won't be getting that. Uh huh. Oh, you have the deluxe. It's in your inventory. Do you get that in the second quest automatically? Yes, you do. Oh, alright. 
I'm probably still not going to do any of the pictures or anything. Uh. I might show it off at the end if there's something easy to do. So we've got our sale. Only cost us 80 rupees. Nice, nice. Bargain compared to what we'll have to pay later. We are only $24 away from 4000 overall raised for Child's Play, so if you have anything to spare, please use the donation link below and follow the steps. Well, I went into the uh, wrong building, but you know going in here works too. Let's grab these back here first. Oh, what? You didn't know those were back there? No, I didn't. You could see them during the mini game. Why don't you? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that mini game is actually uh, kind of difficult. So I don't feel like uh, spending a lot of time on it. Mm. I will do this part though. This starts the uh, side quest for the joy pendants. Right, right. Well, I say side quest, but you have to. Yeah. Nice camera work there. Just gonna block out the main character's face with my giant pink hair. <laughs> We have just hit four thousand dollars overall. Hooray! We we haven't even been on an hour. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> uh, yes, Taki, you did do something good. Now, stop it. <laughs> you donated so much, let other people pull their way, please. All right. So this little kid. During my uh, practice run, we decided his name should be Cocky McEyebrow. Cocky McEyebrow. Cockney Eyebrow? <laughs> I said it wrong, yeah. Cocky McEyebrow. Just because he's he's such a little douche, really. Watch your bitch, what's going on? <laughs> As I've seen your day going up and down the apples and pears. This is my town. I didn't even understand a word of that. <laughs> uh, that's good, because neither did I. Alright. Uh, this, uh, this is basically a hide-and-seek thing. you got to find all four of the kids. Uh, I probably spent 30 minutes looking for them on my first run. Yeah. We are now at $198.92 for our daily total. <laughs> oh god, Dragon Tamer, why? Low what? Wait, no. Uh, I'm getting confused by landscape. Okay. You'll never be an architect, Spa. No, no I won't. I'm in computer science for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Now see, if they wanted us to debug their computers, we'd be fucking golden. I'm assuming computer science covers that. Uh, well, I'm gonna be more into website design, so no. <laughs> <laughs> if they wanted us to build them a website, <laughs> we'd be golden. There's Cocky McEyebrow. He almost landed on the old man. No, I don't want to talk to you. 
I was just tapping the A button so I could roll. Oh, there's actually something else to do here, I just remembered. I forgot to do this, uh, do that my first time th to this island on my last run. I don't know if going in there resets the game or not, so I'll wait until after the hide-and-seek. Probably does. It's kid number three behind the tombstone, because that's a place you want to hide for a game like this. Yep. Just over an hour in, and uh, we'll be leaving Windfall Island soon. Mm hmm. Making good progress so far. Especially since in my first practice run, it was an hour for me to get to the Forsaken Fortress. Good lord. And the last kid is over here behind the uh, bomb shop. Yep. Uh, no, I won't be marking the map because I, I don't really see a need to. Besides, he's got me here. If he ever needs like an FAQ or a location scout. Uh huh. There's only like three islands that I need to remember, and we've got those marked down in the notes. No, I okay. don't want to talk to you either. <laughs> we have a few more donations. <laughs> go go and Tom nine with thirty dollars. Pierre with twenty five and Soli a Garal with twenty four. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to people. I just want to roll. <laughs> I don't want to talk to people. I just want to play video games all day. <laughs> These kids. <laughs> Ugh. This kid is having a giraffe right now. Is he having a right giraffe? No, he's having a left one. Got him. Good. I mean, the way I hit him would have, you know, killed him, but sure. Okay, we've got a couple of comments. Uh, saw Ia Garal made one when he donated, saying, Donating once again. And Dexmonicus S Tree uh, made one for $2.11, saying, Spa Trek Free, the search for annoying hooligans. <laughs> Just let me tot up these things, and uh, I'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. And we've got our first piece of heart. In normal Zelda style, four of them gives you a new heart container. You know, unless you're playing Twilight Princess. 